All right, so we are here now in Fiesta Village. Um, I am going to stand still because it is getting kind of warm. But I'm here uh, next to some of the Fiesta games out in front of Jaguar. And then you can even see um, Montezuma's Revenge's loop. And then one of these other um, spinning rides, uh, another uh, festival, pinata style game, uh, stage show area. Um, so in general, as far as Fiesta Village goes, you get the general idea of uh, Southern California, uh, Mexican, Latin American culture as far as the kind of uh, theme and look and feel of this area. So I think going that way will take us to Camp Snoopy. But in general, you can see this area in general has a more vibrant look to it, a lot of different colors. Um, Silver Bullet is one of those rides that kind of neither here nor there. It signifies the end of Ghost Town, but as far as the colors go, it's more Fiesta Village. Uh, we do have a merry-go-round, so... Um, in general, a good area as far as representation of the Latin culture that's a part of the Southern California landscape and formerly being a part of Mexico, so um, in general, you do get that look and feel. You see some decorations up here at the top. Uh, very vibrant colors as far as uh, the yellow, purple, blue, and water. Um, as far as um, some of the stores and Latin music that's going on in the area. So when you're coming through this area, you get that very distinctive Latin American look and feel. So, um, probably one of the smaller areas just because it's kind of a really gap between um, the boardwalk and Camp Snoopy. But when you are visiting the area, um, you do get a very um, vibrant look and feel to it. Uh, there we have Silver Bullet going, but as you're in the area, you do get the Latin American feel. You do have uh, little signs as far as uh, the missions go. A little um, mop-up model of one of the missions. Looks like there's three or four different glass um, cases. So another one of the missions to take a look at. So uh, now it's flower decorations. And it's actually on the border of the California train on the log ride. So you do get um, just a village as a border between all the major parts, so um, definitely an area to check out. Um, it's not the simplest to get to, but not necessarily that it's the best or uh, worst area of the park, but um, probably the one of those ones where it's fun to just movie crew and generally have a good time in. So I'm going to walk away from the uh, start of the Silver Bowl uh, launch area uh, a little bit, but um, with that, that's really the end of the walkthrough, so I'm going to make my way onto some of the rides. I might even start with uh, Silver Bullet, maybe Jaguar, since I'm in the area and I'm going to make my way over to Silver Bullet and um, I'm sorry, make my way over to Ghost Rider. So I'm kind of hoping you can see uh, Silver Bullet making its way around the track. Um, but in general, being uh, part that you can easily get through. A theme part that you can get through in a day or so if you plan it properly and the wait times are relatively low. So uh, there we have Monsoon with the Red Hand Silver Bullet going around at the same time. So. Uh, with that, I'm going to make my way through the park and have some fun, so look out for some uh, more videos um, for my walk, for my uh, day here at Nosferry Farm and checking out some of the 100th year anniversary celebration.